Cougar 28R LS by Keystone here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 6100. 60 pounds. This is a fantastic ultralight half ton towable rear living couples camper. It's a floor plan that at face value you've seen a hundred different times, but you've never seen it in a Cougar. There are awesome little details here that separate this from the other brands, you know, because there's so many ultralights out there nowadays. Why choose the 28 RLS Cougar? Why choose to bring your business here to Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan? Those are the things I want to try to hit on in this video. Um, if at any point you're curious to know uh, what she's running, how we have it equipped, um, the uh, you know option packages if you want to know links and weights and measures and stuff I leave all that for you one click away in the video description those are uh, important questions but they're easy to answer so I publish all that data for you and uh, publishing our pricing we have to be aggressive and our price doesn't change if you do or don't have a trade we don't play run around games um, you know we do hitches pieces parts financing uh, uh, you know like I mentioned trades uh, we deliver RVs we can pair you up with a truck and trailer package deal I don't care what it is basically we can do it so let's start right up front here because there's a lot of good stuff to cover on these Cougars uh, right up front they set the tone with a fully automotive painted nose cap uh, with a like three foot tall uh, sort of spray on stone guard there so that you don't uh, chip up that nice painted nose cap the uh, extra little details like that spray on liner, the triple paint, uh, automotive paint that they have in this. So this nose cap's not going to sun fade and get chalky. Um, you know, they're using uh, best in class decals on their keystones. Uh, you know, they have a five year guarantee on them. So it's, again, things are just designed to last longer. They actually use a gel coated phylon, which is really uncommon. Um, and uh, the, you can see that glossy reflectivity on there. That will help prevent premature weathering. Um, that will also uh, make this thing easy to clean. Power awning, power tongue jack, those things are a diamond dozen. I'm not going to burn a lot of time talking about that. Uh, this does have an enclosed forced air heated underbelly. So that you do have forced air heat taking care of your tanks to help protect your tanks and your water lines. An enclosed heated underbelly does not make something four seasons. This is like a lightweight traveling RV. You know, it's, it's absolutely fantastic in its class. And the quality and reliability I've seen from this factory has been stupendous. That's a word I don't use very often. And uh, it's one that uh, definitely uh, fits the bill here. Um, the slide walls, little detail stuff like this. They've done uh, so, so many fine, small details to prevent things from going wrong with this, both from human error or from lack of maintenance or unforeseen weather situations, all kinds of stuff like the seal gripping slide walls here. Behind the double wipe seal, I can't even get it out because they did such a good job pulling the seal tight. Um, there's a, a C channel behind that seal, so how if some water manages to magically penetrate into those slide seals, there's a C-channel that will run that water down and away from the coach body, just like the gutters of your house. It has an interior slide-out gutter. They also add extra little things like this, little flappy-doo here. I've used that word before, and it's appropriate. The idea there is uh, when the slide's open, it's not doing anything for you, but that's not why it's there. When the slide's closed, if you're on a, a wet road and you've got water spray going everywhere, that protects the bottom of your slide-out. Um, they also use a, a, a drip rail slide trim system, basically, so that if water runs down the side of your slide out, it doesn't then wick to the bottom of your slide and your subfloor. Uh, it, it beads up and drops down. They even have insulated slides, so, you know, the uh, 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 good enclosed heated underbelly package and insulated slide out, a lot of people don't realize a lot of slide outs are not insulated. They're standard insulated in a Cougar. You also have a fifth wheel roof structure, and that is no exaggeration. You can see that wrap over roof line. They use uh, uh, stamp steel roof rafters on this, which are lighter and stronger than aluminum. Um, the uh, neat thing is that uh, because it's essentially like a, a pressed out stamped sort of arched I-beam basically, they can stuff insulation under the lip of those uh, roof girders so that um, you have no gaps in insulation. Aluminum roof trusses are great, they're lightweight, but they're tubular. So there's a place in that where there's just a hole where you can't uh, insulate so you have you know heat loss points check out the big uh, easy tilt power awning on this I know I said I wasn't gonna talk a lot about the mechanics of it but look how long it is and it covers both entry doors that's a big thing I've noticed a lot of brands will cut that awning right there they'll save two and a half feet of awning and you lose two and a half feet of awning dead in the middle of it 
We have outside TV hookups for outdoor entertainment. Nobody ever cries about aluminum wheels, Argentina. Uh, and uh, aluminum steps on both entry doors, and they're both triple steps for easy entry. Now, did you notice, by the way, I was yakking on about other things, wider, taller, big baggage doors, these big 30-inch wide baggage doors, and it gets even wider once you get in here. Um, and uh, you get to see that aluminum skeleton. This has... Uh, I told you the stamp steel roof rafters, then it has uh, aluminum laminated sidewalls and floor, uh, aluminum framed front rear walls to keep this thing light, strong, effective. Um, right when you walk in the back door, we've got our central control panel and all of our lighting is right here on one switch. And you see it's got very decent interior cabin lighting here. Now this is the Vineyard Decor. And uh, this is a super popular model from a very, very popular brand with an extremely high rate of resale value, by the way. Uh, I hope you take this out and I hope you have a lot of good years with it. And when you're done with it, rest assured that it's going to be worth good money when you're done with it. You put the word used in the sentence with a cougar and they vanish. Case in point, we are a huge dealership. Ask me how many used cougars I typically have in stock. Zero. One, people don't give them up. Two, if they do, there's a waiting list of people looking for them, and that's really not an exaggeration. So the one we have in stock, again, could be different from what we have in this video. That is why I leave you that link in our video description so you can see exactly what we have, how much it's costing, all that stuff. Um, and uh, we, we'll make our pictures on our website match the video so that, or pardon me, no, 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 no. We'll make the pictures on our website match the unit in stock, which could differ from this video. There we go, too many tongue twisters. So let's get dug in. I'm just gonna start working my way around. We have a lot to cover. Trifold memory foam high to bed sleeper sofa surrounded by a lot of glass and all windows open for ventilation using again little touches the extra large side slide breeze windows and if you notice those were tinted outside now we've got a morning sun billowing in on this window I had to pull that shade uh, I, I'd prefer to have the extra light in here, but uh, you can see if I start getting too much light in, the camera goes a little bit wonky. But even big window over here in the kitchen, everything has good, good airflow. And these windows over here are my favorite because they look out under your awning at your campsite. Those are important. Um, twin, big time, like almost lay flat recliners back here. And again, little, little touches. You got a place to set, a, you know, you could save a couple bucks by not putting a stand in the middle here. But this gives you a place to set your phone or uh, a place to set a dinner plate so you can get up and get a drink or answer the door. Uh, you can see that they have the, uh, they actually include a nice little utility drawer back here. Most brands don't do those things. It's those extra little things that go into Cougars. It's not expensive stuff. It doesn't have to be expensive to be something that you will use and enjoy every single time you go camping. They also uh, utilize and waste nothing in the kitchen space. I mean, they utilize every square inch they possibly can. I like that the cabinetry comes out a little, but they didn't make it a big giant L-shaped cabinet that blocks your view of everything and makes the RV look smaller. That's the thing about Cougars. They know where that sweet spot is to add or subtract something. They're very, very good at that. They have so many years of experience doing it. It's probably why this is one of, well, Keystone as a whole is hands down the most copycatted brand on the market. There are more Keystone copies on the market than anybody else. So would you rather have the knockoff off brand or would you rather have the real thing that has the brand recognition and the resale value? There you go. Um, X-Lights, all Cougars have solid surface kitchen countertops. What that allows them to do so they have a luxury fifth wheel style undermounted stainless sink. Um, if I'm extra nasally today, I apologize. I'm getting a case of that Michigan crud in my nose, and I'm extra nose heavy today when I talk. Um, they also are able to recess the the stove or the sink counter here to give you really good prep space. Now you saw the good drawers, the pots and pans drawers on the other side. We've got our utensil drawers over here. Big place for like a waste basket if you want one, and if nothing else, you can put your big pots and pans there. I've had some people say, yeah but they like to run their water lines through these places. Sure, because this is the most direct source to your tanks and your water supply. And while it seems like it's in the way, you have to understand it's in the way of every trailer. The difference here is that Cougar doesn't artificially enclose this space and make you lose out on all the storage back there. And Cargo Shift is not going to cause these things problems. It's just never happened. Um, the, let's see, oh, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer standard, and I really like what they've done with that stainless appliance bundle to give some good color contrast in here. This, uh, there's a couple brands that are doing this right now. They've got this really sweet, 
It's got almost an old timey, old western general store sort of look and feel color package. And it's like, I don't know, I start to see this almost driftwoodish wood tones here, this nice neutral wood tone on top of this stainless. And I start hearing like spurs jingling, cowboys in the back of my head. I don't know what it is, but it, it takes me out on the range every time. Um, we've got good kitchen space. And I love, by the way, that they spent just a couple bucks to give you a couple additional utility drawers right here. That is so smart. You still have a great pantry. It's not like you lost out on that. And again, with that eight cubic fridge, we're looking at a 33% larger than, uh, fridge than the standard trailer. But there's no such thing as too many drawers in a trailer ever. You know, that is good to have. Uh, spinning around here, you'll also see easy access to the storage below your little uh, fold down sleeper dinette. Um, so if you have, like if this is a grandpa, grandma camper or Mom and dad watching this, consider this. You've got kids who are 14 and 16, say, and you're looking to get a new trailer. Most people in that situation are probably financing their camper. Most people tend to finance their RVs 10 to 12 years. Do you want to finance a bunkhouse for 12 years that's only going to suit you for two or three? Get this trailer. Get it at that 12-year note. It has a hide-a-bed here that two kids can sleep on, and they can set up because they're old enough. You can always fold this down if you need separate sleeping spaces. Now, after two years when the kids are done camping because they discovered cars and the opposite sex, you're left with an awesome couples coach. And if you're grandparents, you don't have to worry about a bunkhouse because grandparent guilt, because, oh, my grandbabies won't have a place to sleep. But bam You fold it out when you need it, you leave it there when you don't. And look at the little residential curvature on the furnitures. Just... Nice little touches. You know, it's the, the curvature of the seat is not the reason to buy a Cougar over something else. It's the combination of all these little things that come together. It, there's so many smart little things that they've done here. Um, you know, Keystone's the reason we have these big six-inch vaulted ceilings. Keystone's the originator of that, and you see it copied and utilized in every aspect of the RV market today. Everybody does that. Um, the uh, TV swings out so that even the person sitting over here can, you know, have a fair look at the screen. Actually, there's no real bad seat in the house. And they leave you a nice little shelf space. So if you want to add extra devices like satellite brains, you got the spot to do that. Again, everything where it needs to be, nothing uh, that doesn't need to be there. All cabinet doors are a raised panel hardwood insert and frame with screwed together, not stapled, not glued cabinetry. So you can see that I can't twist this style. That's what these are called, styles. If you're shopping around to Brand X, and frankly, I encourage you to do so, because you're going to see why so many people copy Cougars, basically. Um, uh, grab these things and other brands and try to, like, twist it. A lot of them, you're going to see you can twist apart. If you can wriggle that by hand, imagine when this thing is a rolling earthquake, and I mean that literally, a rolling earthquake with hurricane force winds outside, and... You know, it's not going to fail while it's under warranty, but in time, it's certainly going to work its way loose, and then you're going to be stuck with a repair bill or a busted cabinet. This has a very large, very nice middle walk-through bathroom to it, and I've never seen it done exactly like this before. And that's one of the things I like. Cougar's not afraid to do stuff a little different. You've got, you know what? This is enough linen space up here to keep some towels on hand to keep in the bathroom so you don't have to do the naked man run through the uh the living room and scare the grandkids but um you know it's enough it's not massive it's enough you have room down here for your extra toilet papers or store some shampoos and whatnot easy foot flush stool all sorts of leg room so you can actually stand up and put on a pair of pants in this thing um and a big adult size sink and not the little bitty plastic kitty sink that uh you can get in a, a cheap entry level bunkhouse now uh every room has just you know living room bedroom bathroom all have one switch lighting that's nice and we've got this full-on fifth wheel size shower right here in an ultra light half ton towable 6100 pound travel trailer that as Peter Griffin would say, yeah, that's friggin' sweet. <laughs> you know, this is awesome. This is fantastic right here. Um, also, nice little seating area if you've got a hitch in your giddy up and you're not as mobile as you used to be and it's safer and easier or just frankly more comfortable for you to sit while you bathe or shave your legs or whatever. Bang! There you go. You got the room to do it. Um, let's, uh, oh, doors. You know, this is an imperceptible feature and this is that thing that the copy camp brands often miss. Keystone frames their doors. Grab a doorway like this and a keystone, yank on it. It's 
fully header beamed and framed. These doors aren't going to wiggle. The internal structure, like in a house you hear, oh, that's a load-bearing wall. That's sort of what you have in Keystone interior construction. A lot of brands, the interior walls are nothing more than a visual break point. In Keystone brands, the interior walls are helping support the trailer internally, structurally. So instead of just an exterior shoebox structure, you've got a full inside-outside sort of like a house structure, you know? It's, the campers are not a house, but it's, it follows a lot of similar concepts. Very easy place to see that arched interior roof, which is nice now because this has a full nose cap. They were able to utilize a recessed nose cap up here to give you, uh, or uh, headboard in the cap to give you all that extra space for alarm clocks and anything. I don't care. Decorate the thing. Both sides of the bed have residential outlets and your stands for you folks who maybe need CPAP breathing machines for various reasons. And this side also has your USB chargers. Um, neat little thing over here. We've got a little laundry chute so that you can uh, you know, throw your dirty clothes in there and they're waiting for you when you get back from your, your week or two out on vacation. And this is a Cougar King bed. Each person sleeping gets five extra inches of elbow room. This is a 10 inch wider bed that you can still walk around. You know, I can still get around here. I'm a big fella. This is a, a very condensed, feature packed bedroom. You know, you're not gonna stand up in here and, and stretch out and do jumping jacks. You didn't get into a 6,100 pound uh, half ton towable travel trailer so you could stand in the bedroom and do jumping jacks, you know? it. The bedroom does what it needs to. In the meantime, you've got just an awesome living room and bathroom. All the notes in the symphony are there and, and uh, they've done just such a great job. So give us a call, learn more, and we sure appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. Like I said, if you enjoy what you've seen here, if uh, when you are ready, you know, we've already played our hand. We've put our product and our, and our, and our services out there. When you're ready, we're ready. And we are eager to meet you and take care of you here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So take care. Stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.